teaching us about how to share the gospel using Romans 6, 23, which says, The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. One night, after Sam was doing the cards at Wendy's, my dad was asking us if the part in the Romans 6, 23 card about making Jesus your Lord personally was real to us. He, he reminded us where we would go if we did not believe in and make Jesus our Lord. And that got me thinking about if Jesus really was my friend and my Lord personally. I realized that Jesus was not my Lord, and that scared me. So I talked to my parents that night, and I remember just being confused and not knowing what to do. My dad said, just believe, that's all there is to it. And that night, I fell asleep thinking about all the things we had talked about, but nothing happened. The next night, we were praying as a family before bed, and when it was my turn, and when it was my turn to pray, I just blurted out, Lord, there's something blocking me from coming to you. After that, my dad asked me, What do you think is blocking you from going to Jesus? I told him that I had candy in my room that I would eat without permission and then not tell my parents, which was lying and disobedient. That night, my dad and I stayed up late talking, and my dad repeated what he said the night before. Just believe. But I was still confused, and I was sad and crying. I put my head in my pillow and I said to the Lord, I want to believe, help me in relief. I looked up from my pillow and I felt the physical lifting of my sin off my shoulders, a lot like the public's progress. And I was free from my sin. I was now crying because I was so happy that Jesus was my Lord and my friend personally. Since then, my life has changed. I used to watch babies and young children because I enjoyed it, but now I watch them because I want to help their moms. I used to share the gospel to please my parents, but now I do it to expand his kingdom. I used to serve because I wanted to be well thought of, but now I serve because I want others to see Christ in me. Mm -hmm. When I get annoyed with my brothers, I used to yell at them, but now I try not to yell. Instead, I try to remember to pray for them and ask the Lord to help me to be patient and not to yell. Mm -hmm. 